So we got some stuff from our friends over at Ulanzi. Ulanzi. And I have to say one of the things that I like about them is that their gear actually is very reasonably priced. And um, we all like reasonably priced, especially if it's going to give us everything that you and I need to make our videos and photos better. So Ulanzi sent us a bunch of stuff. So we're actually going to be doing a couple of videos over the next few days uh, in regards to some of their little gizmos and gadgets. And the first one we're talking about today is this little guy right here. This is the Ulanzi MT-16 extendable tripod with ball head. Now, I've seen other companies like Manfrotto and stuff like that come out with things like this, um, costing significantly more money. This one right now on their own site, about $16 US, says tax included, shipping calculated at checkout. So it does have shipping if you buy it directly from Ulanzi, just so you guys know. Uh, you can get it on, this is it here, this is Amazon.ca. It's so coming in about 30 bucks, still considerably better than some of the competitors out there. Uh, we're going to crack open the box, take a look at it, and we're going to see what it mounts with. I've got an actual, like, an M50 camera here. I've got a little GoPro, uh, uh, an Insta360. We'll probably just try the Insta360 on it, but I wanted to bring the M50 out just for weight, just to see how it does. So, yeah. Let's crack this open and uh, see how it looks. All right, guys, so here's the box, the MT-16 extendable vlog tripod. Now, I talked about this going on a M50 and an action camera, but if you have uh, a tripod mount for your phone, then this would work very well because it does have just a standard like tripod mount on it. So here's the box. This is it here, Ulanzi. Couple features. They have an M, I think it's an MT8 that they have and it's a little bit cheaper, but I think there's something to realize. This is it here, yeah. So the MT08 versus the MT16, long four level adjustment. Okay, this one has three levels. So the this one goes a little longer, which is always good being able to have that little bit of extra reach if you need it. But here's a big one for me. This one has a cold shoe on the side, whereas the other one doesn't. So I would think if you're gonna use this for vlogging, then then you'd want to have access to that cold shoe. Even if your device, I'll use my M50, has, let's say a cold shoe on it, now I could use that cold shoe for a light and move, let's say the microphone down to the side, et cetera, et cetera. Or maybe you have like a Sony camera or a, Canon, but like let's say the M6, which doesn't actually have a cold shoe, so now you have a place to mount your mic. So that's that's also good. All right, let's crack open this box here. So in this here box, my guess is it's not going to be overly exciting. It's a box, right? So you do get UU rig camera vlog accelerators. You get a little accelerators, the new accelerators from Ulanzi accessories. UU rig, you get a sticker. I like stickers. You get two stickers. So if you're all about the stickers, you want to throw this on and do some do some advertising for these guys. They're more than happy for you to do it. Uh, and the Vlogmaster plan, Vlogmaster plan. This is a little link to go to their Facebook Facebook page. Now what's funny is that, and not that I think you need it, but it doesn't really have any kind of you know, manual or anything, it's, it's a tripod. I, I guess you don't really see tripods come with manuals too often. Anyways, this is it. So first off, let's just look here at lengths. So this says at its smallest, so you guys get an idea, which you guys can see it in my hand. And it's, it's not bad feeling. Like I was gonna be like, okay, if this thing's like $15 US, 30 bucks here, um, it's gonna be like cheap, but that's even the, the, the ball head up here, the actual ball, I can't tell. It may either be a really nice plastic or is that metal? I can't tell. I can't really tell. I think that might be plastic. But either way, $15. It's got decent quality for sure. There's that little cold shoe, which I like. And then there's your little ball ad adjuster for tightening, okay? As well as this for tightening it onto your camera. So let's see. Uh, at its smallest, you're looking at 22.5 centimeters. So that's it right there. Again, here it is in my hand, uh, or eight and a half inches. Now at its longest, 
44 inches, sorry, no, 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 no. 17.2 inches or 44 centimeters. So how do we extend this? My guess is if it's like most of them, you just kind of give it a twist. Yeah. So, oh, it's actually just fairly tight by itself. I think it's just all. So there it is. That's it. So don't expect this thing to be like, and for lop. For lop. No, that's that's it right there. So that's it in its full length. But that's that's a good distance. And then you got this little fella that you can bend up however you need. All right, so first off, could it go on the GoPro? Here's the GoPro. Sure, I don't have the mount on it, so that would have no issues. My biggest question is actually this fella here. So if I took this, we're gonna straighten this up here, because it's a 360 camera, right? And what I like about this, as far as I can tell, just kind of get that in there a little bit, is that once you have this lined up, you guys can see that you can use this because you don't want to be doing this because then it, it, it could end up this way. And that means the widest part of your mount is going to interfere with the 360 camera. So I'm going to do this, get that lined up nice, which this could, this could be good. This could be good. You know, got that exactly how you want it. Okay, nice and snug. Take off this, all right? I could even, now you, a 360 camera, you have to always remember that no matter how you're doing this, you want to have the camera straight. So unlike a, like a GoPro camera where you're like, angle it toward me. No, don't do that or else the stick is gonna get in the way. You don't want your stick in the way. Some of us have that problem. Not all of us, you know. All right, let's, let's turn this on. Okay, let's turn this on here, because I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious how I have battery first, which it sounds like I do. All right, and record. So I'm just gonna pop this up here, like so. And we'll, we'll me in the bottom, this in the top. That's kind of exciting. And the question is, is that, is, is the stick getting in the shot? I don't know. You guys will be able to tell. Uh, but I don't think so. It's, it's gonna be close for sure. We'll pan it all the way down to the bottom so you guys can see. But that's a nice size and it's super light, which is really nice. So I do like that. And I'll stop this. Because as awesome as it is to see all that, not needed. Okay, so I do like the fact too that if you had the actual uh, adapter off here, you could plug right in because there's your cold shoe, right? Cold shoe right there. So it's not very far. Easily. Now you're getting some decent audio. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, that's good. So that's good with that. Let's undo this for a second. Speed through this. It comes off fast though, which is even nicer. Let's let's try it with something a tad bit heavier. And this is where my, my curiosity is at its full. Okay, let's tighten that on there. So it's, it's there, it's hold. I wouldn't go any heavier. I wouldn't go any heavier than an M50, I don't think. So we'll snake, snake, snipe. We'll tighten, I don't, shouldn't drink first thing in the morning. That's what I'm telling you. Oh no, that's doable. You guys can see that, right? That's doable, I think. Yeah, it's a, uh, again, it's, it's probably pushing it, pushing it for weight. I'd be concerned over time that that may be a little too heavy. So depending on your setup, I have this with a cage and you know, all that on it. Does it work? Yes. If it was down lower, so down here, I'd have no problems feeling confident. When it's out here, I feel like there's a little bit of strain on it, but I don't think it was designed for this. But it does have, because it does say uh, for iPhone DSLR or Sony GoPro, Sony Go, not the Sony GoPro, Sony slash GoPro, here, yes, for sure. And, what I like about it as well is that once you have it here, you can just kind of flop this out when you need it, and you're all you're all tripody, you're all tripody and ready to go. Right? That looks good. Hey, you guys, maybe can see that. Is that too high? That's probably better, somewhere in that range. But yeah, that's that's good. And the ball head is holding it, so the ball head's working good. Yeah, just watch your weight when you get up to the bigger cameras. Does it work as a tripod? For sure. Would I use it for vlogging? Ah, uh, depending. Down lower, yes. Full extension, 
in a pinch, maybe, maybe in a pinch. But again, you know what? It's that's inexpensive. And what I like about it too is that when it's all folded up, that's nice and tiny. Yeah, that's all right. All right, guys. Uh, that is the uh, Ulanzi. I like. I just like saying it. Ulanzi MT16 extendable phone camera tripod, lightweight portable vlog travel selfie stick, handle grip, desktop webcam tripod for iPhones. SLR, DSLRs, Sony's, GoPros, other brands, doesn't matter. If it has a little tripod mount, you're good to go. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Uh, links down below if you're interested. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the, hit the little bell. It comes up. I changed the bottom. It's somewhere. I don't even know. You know how to do it. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Later, my friends. Have a good one.